as usual, HD relies on a double down tube slash double cradle, tubular steel construction to form the wide FL frame, and it carries the steering head at 26 degrees with a whopping 6.8 inches of trail for stability and low fatigue interstate work. Yeah, it's a heavy weight to go. But since the thing tips the scales at 855 pounds wet I really don't think that trying to save weight with an aluminum frame would accomplish much. Harley still isn't on board the adjustable front end strain, but at least it's using Shaw's dual bending valve forks for a better than vanilla ride up front with hand adjustable preload that allows for quick adjustments to cargo and passenger loads out back. Harley's Reflex Brake System electronically balances brake effort between the front and rear end for safer operation, particularly in emergency situations. ABS comes stock on the special, but if you want it on the base RG, you'd better be ready to cough up another $795 come checkout time. If you go all the way, you'll have twofold protection for your contact patch and greater peace of mind for those high pucker haul downs when you need every ounce of stopping power you can get. Seat height rides at 27.4 inches unladen, but that squats on down to 25.9 inches high with at least 180 pounds of rider aboard for a confidence-inspiring stance when you deploy your training wheels.